me and my kids we like to spend some time on the beaches and all this stuff so somewhere during the christmas holidays we happen to go to injambakam just for taking beach walks and i also was exploring a story on the, some coastal violations kind of a thing so we went there and we saw at least four dead turtles lying and uh, those carcasses were quite decomposed and uh, as we progressed uh, come new year and post jan 1st the number starts multiplying by tens this is the scene in many of Chennai's beaches. A dangerously high number of dead olive ridley turtles have washed ashore over the past two weeks. Experts have estimated that more than 1,000 turtles have been found dead so far. In some locations, dozens of dead turtles have been discovered daily. This unprecedented event has left environmentalists and residents deeply concerned, especially since it coincides with the crucial nesting season for turtles. Olive ridley turtles, which are among the smallest of the world's sea turtles, are listed as endangered in the red list of threatened species. These sea turtles are marine reptiles and must come to the surface to breathe. They often migrate great distances like thousands of kilometers between feeding and breeding grounds. The breeding season for the olive ridley sea turtles starts from end uh, December onwards and goes on till April. The olive ridley sea turtles sort of migrate from their feeding and uh, resting grounds from the Gulf of Mannar, which is between Ramanathapuram and Sri Lanka. During the season, they migrate from Gulf of Mannar. They pass through uh, Tamil Nadu waters. They go to Andhra and then go for Aribada, that is the mass nesting in uh, Gahirmata Beach in Odisha. Trawl boats are supposed to fish beyond five nautical miles, that is 9.26 kilometers, because that area is allowed or allotted for the artisanal and traditional fishermen to do their fishing. Unfortunately, this year, starting of the season, there was a lot of shrimp and squid available between the three to five kilometers from the shore. So artisanal fishermen also were busy fishing and the trawl boats also wanted to cash in on that catch. So they came in and started trawling closer. Even the waters are very choppy because of the extended northeast monsoon. So these trawlers are not able to go into the deep sea or they are not finding it feasible because they have to spend more fuel on it. So it will be economically a little stressful for them. So in such a scenario, they are actually violating this five nautical miles prohibition area and fishing it. Because turtles are air-breathing reptiles, they need to come up to the surface every 40 to 45 minutes to breathe. So when they get caught in the stroll boats, nets are dragged in the seabed for one to three hours. They can't come up to breathe, they suffocate, drown and die. And uh, easy identification is when the turtle washes a show dead, just by seeing the carcass, if it has bulging eyes and a swollen neck, it is the cause of death is due to drowning. The Tamil Nadu government has initiated a massive crackdown on illegal trawling in nearshore waters and 24 trawler boats have been caught operating within the prohibited zone of 5 nautical miles with charges being framed. A task force has also been formed to tackle the crisis. The Forest and Fisheries Departments conducted an awareness session for trawl fishermen at Kasimedu. Olive Ridley sea turtles when they feed, they feed on the crustaceans in the seabed and when they dig it up, they're releasing oxygen trapped in the seabed. Apart from that, they also feed on jellyfish and jellyfish feed on fish larvae and fish eggs. So they keep the population of jellyfish in control. Apart from that, sea turtles also love to feed on seagrass and algae and by keeping the seagrass cut and cleaned, that place will become conducive for a variety of commercial the valuable fish to spawn and grow their young ones. So sea turtles are called important nursery builders. Scientists believe only one out of 1,000 hatchlings that reach the ocean grow up to become adults and the rest end up as food for larger marine life. If you protect the sea turtles, it's like protecting the entire ocean ecosystem because they are the only ones who live in the ocean, but the females come and nest on the beach. We cannot see other marine animals like that.